Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa. And I'm Jenny. And we are the Shady Tree Stitchers, coming to you with delay, as always, when we get together via Zoom. Um, we're here to talk to you about our cross-stitching progress. It's the beginning of the month and it's time for the Let's Have Jenny visit. Yay! I'm always look forward to this video. Um, so thank you. If you've come back to see what we're up to, we appreciate you returning. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, tell your friends, um, get the word out there that cross stitch is not a dorky thing to do and lots of people are doing it and it's really cool. Um, I was reading an article the other day about, you know, just actually professing the, the wonders of the mindfulness and the relaxation and how good it is for mental health. So more people need to pick it up, I think, at the moment. And, and as far as most embroideries go, cross stitch is actually quite easy because you're doing squares following a pattern. Like everyone yeah. keeps saying to me, oh, you're so artistic, you do all creative, you do all this cross stitch. It's like, uh, I'm an accountant. No, 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 I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm mathematical. It's following patterns. It's, it's color by number, but with a needle. It's more like following a graph or something, but it's, yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's really cool. So thank you. And if you're new, well, we appreciate you checking us out. Um, our channel does a few different things, but every week pretty much you get to see my progress. About once a month you get to see Jenny's progress and um, in between you get some discussions for No New Starts and homework groups. So, um, and occasional tutorials on how to do things. So um, we maybe have a few more of them up our sleeve. We'll just have to wait and see. If you have a particular thing though on that, that you'd like to see how we do it, um, pop it in the comments below and we'll see what we can do. If there's a particular type of embroidery or you just want to know how Jenny or I stitch something, we'd be more than happy to share that with you in a special episode. Sure. Okay, um, it is the 6th of February. I didn't say that. So um, I'm going to get started as usual, straight into the stitching. And what have you been? Oh, no, I get to start because I don't think Jenny gets to do one of these. All right. Okay. No. I get to start because I just had a finish. Yay! Yay. It's just a, it's it's one of the patterns. It's grandma's grandmother's quilt from the um, farmhouse Christmas series, which is a pattern finish because they're sold separately, but it's part of the bigger set, and I only have one to go. So um, I'm very excited. I worked on that quite a bit this week to get it done, um, but it only needed about 800 stitches and it was finished. So I was able to use that for a couple of different challenges. So definitely something I found on a farm. <laughs> a yeah. quilt. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's part of the farm house Christmas. Exactly. So yeah, it was definitely something I found on a farm. Um, it was also an activity I'd like to do at camp. I'd like to do quilting. I, I was going to chop down trees for the rest of it. And I thought, no, actually I like sewing at camps. So um, that's what I what I worked on it for. And also for the monthly, um, it was also one that had a red flower in it. Because we, you can see. We did talk one day about going to um, do a quilting. We did one day and it never happened. And then I moved away from there. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll get there one day. All right, well, what have you been stitching on, Jen? Okay, so um, for the no new stuff, let me just open my little book and I will can tell you what I've been doing my stitching for. Uh-huh. So my no, no, this one. So this was for the no new starts um the dimensions stitch along for the yep. second half of January. Yep. I did um oh sorry, I, I'm working on this one. Currently, I have done 220 stitches. And so it now looks like this. <laughs> well, you can see the circle. It's looking a lot bluer in person than it. Um... Yeah, well, it's, it's all, so two, so it looks like there's four different. Higher, four, higher, so can, higher. Yes. Oh, there, now I can see the purple. It's just where yeah. you showed it before it looked blue. Yeah. Yeah. So there's, there's four different, so there's, the outer bit is dark blue and dark purple, and then there's just purple, and then there's lighter blue and lighter purple, and then there's half crosses of the same. But I realised I'd sort of marked out this material to do all six, but 
I'm going to adjust it slightly because some of them are, are hearts and some of them are round. And the round ones aren't as wide as the heart ones. Ah. So, I mean, it's, it's fine because that is now the outer edge. Yeah. And so I've got, you know, to make it into an ornament, that's enough. But if I had a little bit more, that would be good. So I'm going mm. to move it across the next just before I do the other ones further down. Cool. So that's that one. Yeah. Then I was working on my little house neighborhood. That was supposed to be my focus piece for January for Semi Sane uh -huh. Focus Challenge. But you were supposed to do a thousand stitches. And I didn't get to a thousand stitches because I then had a different semi sane thing that I was doing on a different piece. Mm -hmm. um, but I did. I I so I, yeah. So I managed to get to six hundred and fifty five. Wow, stitches that's good, January. Jen. That's great. So some of this you have already seen because it was from when yeah. I was with Lisa last time. So this is on whole stitches designs, snowy mountains fabric, twenty eight count Brittany Lugana. And so my bottom house is looking quite like a house. Yes. And, and most of the windows are filled in as well now. Um, so I will be doing a little bit more of that this month because it's going to be my wash the windows for oh. spring clean because there's lots of windows in this. There is. There's lots of windows in that one. Oh, that's good. So I thought that would be good for that one. Um, then... <laughs> Two weeks ago, I went to a friend, well, with, with a couple of other friends, um, Liz, who you've seen at the Stitch Retreat and another mm -hmm. friend there, we went to high tea in Parramatta. And then we were going to Symphony Under the Stars, also in Parramatta, but there was a bit of a time gap in between. And so I took my stitching and I, it, it encouraged Liz to get hers out Good. too. So um, Good. I did a little bit more on my tribal Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. Um, only 60 more stitches, but still, um, it now looks like, yes, that is the right way up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit hard to tell, but. Yeah, so this is now the edge. So this is the, hang on, I need to. So, yeah, so that that edge now is kind of somewhere along this top. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Yep, so it's the edge of that, that cross top cross line. Yeah, so that's. Um, is that as far that's almost the complete width mm -hmm. at that point mm -hmm. so yeah great so I've made it to one edge there as well as one edge on my ornament <laughs> um so then the big one so this is for the semi-stain alpha mabet mm -hmm. which I sort of started late because I didn't think I could because it wasn't yep. a new piece yeah so I am doing my castle sampler because it has yeah, the alphabet going all the way around. Around, yep. In order to get to the edge, because before I, I'd, I'd done this middle bit and I'd done a little bit that sort of mm. over here, but I had to go over to this side to start on A. So I have done 1,190 stitches on this one. Good job, Jan. Because there are five rows of border before you get to the square that has the letter in it. So. Oh, wow. Look at that. So I, I quite by chance, this first lower lane row of border, there's a few stitches here in, in the guy's hat. So that sort of got me, to, it made it easier to yeah. count going all the way across. So if I come up close, you can see all the rows a border that I had to do to mm. get to the square with the, and technically the A is not complete yet because there's a little bit in the little tiny green there's a little bit of I think there's two other colors I need to do oh, in the twiddle yeah. and then there's another twiddle like that in the 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 bottom of the B yeah and some of that in this green here too so the this this green and the letters are one over one oh, and wow. the rest of it is two over two. Oh my goodness so intricate. So now you've got to work on letter C pronto. Yeah, but but it's it's not so bad because I've already done half of mm. the box. Oh, you only have to do the C and finish the box, really. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figure. As long as I do the box and the letter, and then I'll keep filling in little other bits as I go. But um, yeah. Well, you've got five days left. 
Right. Yes. Okay. okay. I think that's what you'll be stitching on this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm proud of you, Jen. Well done. So that meant, hang on, it's not written there. It's on the spreadsheet. So I, I think it's, I don't think it's quite my biggest month, but it's pretty close. Because yeah. well, considering I only started counting last year. Yeah. Um, or maybe it is my biggest month. I'm not sure. Let me just have a quick look. And I'll it's a great go. start to the year, Jen, regardless. It's setting you in the right position to keep going. Yes. So 2,257 stitches in January, which is pathetic compared to some of Lisa's. No. Okay, yeah, it's not my best. April last year, I did 2,315. Oh, it's only just better. That must have been... Did we have a... No, we didn't have a stitchy retreat in April. We used to do them in April when we went to Tamworth, but then you mm. moved to Tamworth and Tamworth stopped doing them, so we stopped going. Well, half the retreat stopped going because I moved from Tamworth. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know why. You, maybe you were motivated. Maybe I came and stayed. Who knows? Could have been that. And Easter might have had a couple of mm. extra days. Well, the good thing is you started the year well. So is that what you've worked on? I'm not scoffing at it. I'm just saying that's all. Yes. Yeah, no, that's great. I'm so happy. <laughs> no, no, I'm just checking before I jump on the font of mine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, not... yeah that's, I, I, I figured with my big, I finished with my biggest one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I also was working on my alphabet. Yes. And I only did about 450 on my alphabet. But you can see I now have got my, well, it's this side, it's in mirror. I have actually almost finished all the extra bits for B and I have done the C. Yes. So I would like to try and finish that whole block. Mm -hmm. And as I said, it's really cool because it is a, um, a dictionary of stitching. Yeah. So I'm really, really pleased with that. I've got puppy dogs coming in now, but that's all right. I can do with puppy dogs. Um, yeah, so my alphabet I worked on... Um, oh, I had to stitch on a blue object. Now, this is funny. I had to do 300 stitches on a blue object. And so where I was up to, all the C, <laughs> I can't do this in mirror, that, and the blue bow there, yeah. I was 280 blue stitches. So I put it in because there's no other blue stitches that I can do on it. So yeah. I did 360 stitches, I think, on it, but 280 were in blue. So hopefully... They'll um, approve that. Thanks, Magical yeah. Stitches. Um, and my alphabet met, I was able to change into my zombie run. So I actually now have that 400 stitches, which I've done. Um, I must have done. Yeah, 400 stitches on um, for my zombie run. So it's one of my pieces for the zombie run now. So it'll get that 400 done each month. And then that way, that way it's just one thing that's, that's done and I don't have to think about because I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, I, two different groups. Yeah, so, so at yeah. least two groups. So I got it into three groups this time. Um, no, two groups, but yeah. yeah. All right, I worked on my smallest whip, my Lizzie Kate Autumn Cottage Boxer. Mm -hmm. And my Autumn Cottage Boxer, I did only 303 stitches on, but Ooh. what he looks like now. Um, because in the Tupperware week, you had to work on something that was to do with a shapo, and those squares are from a shapo. Very much. So. Um, and then I also worked on him because he fitted into. I'm trying to find my monthly. Um, my oh yeah, my smallest my smallest whip yeah. So that's how he fitted in. So autumn boxer got some love. He needs more love, but not this month. Um, but he'll be one of the ones that I'm pretty much sure I'll get finished this year somehow. No, I, no, I don't think so. Nah, not well. possible. Not no. possible at all. <laughs> um, for my, to finish off my Aquarius in No New Starts, mm -hmm. um, my Cure Air Baticure Lavender Farm. Yes. All those beautiful purples. Oh, that was that was what um, so, some of this was because in, in here, ah, the blue yep. and purple. The purple yep. was like the color was antique violet. So uh -huh. I did my violet. For That's that why you did the extra. Yes. Okay. Well, no, no, no. I, I needed to do it anyway, but but I was yeah. able to count it, it for another it. group. 
That's yes. great. So another house, but we have the purple house looking a lot more. Um, it's, very it's very purple. It's beautiful. Um, so it is fitting into, it was the piece that reminded me of home um, for daily 30. And then obviously the, the two for Aquarius. So I don't think it, fit, it will fit into something magical, but because magical, um, the well, the outrageous challenge you, you can add all your stitching together. I tend to go through at the end of each week and add it in. I haven't done that yet. And the monthly for magical stitches is um, sorry, 500 or 1,000 or 1,500 for a monster. So it, if I've done enough, it might count towards that. Who mm -hmm. knows? Don't know. I also worked on my Jan Lynn's Autumn. Yes. Haven't seen that one for a while. No, I hadn't done much on it. And um, so I'll show you where she's up to. <laughs> Unfortunately, I suck. Um, so that's where it's up to. Uh -huh. But I actually have to frog because somehow when I, um, what I did was this, I started with this dark brown mm -hmm. and then I did all the green and the blue. So the dark brown, the green and the blue are right, but they're actually one stitch out from the rest of it. So I'm going to have to frog all of what I'd already done because that's actually going to be easier than frogging what I just did. Oh, you've done more now than you had originally. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so that was something with socks because the, um, yeah. Yeah, the, the little witchy who is wearing socks. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I have done, yeah, just slightly more. So it's like there's only 200 in there before. So it is in need of frogging. It's oh. not, not happening just yet. Couldn't face it. Finished the stitches and went, worry about that later. Yeah. Um, when I last saw you guys, I was working on my dimensions for the birthday sale. Yeah. And it was my cozy cove from Charles Wysocki. And I did, this one goes over two, like a whole month. so. I've done just over 320 stitches on this one, um, which you can sort of see when I hold it up. Oh, so we have a bit more of a building happening. Um, yeah, after I frogged out my mistakes from that one. Oh no. I know, me and my frogging. And the last one that I worked on this month, this month, um, this week, is, oh no, there's another one. I forgot to bring out um, my Among Us, which I did another 300 stitches on. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I am so bad. I had another finish. I finished the ginger cat. Yes. But it's over in the cottage. Because uh. I figured that's where I'd be filming. And I took it over there to be ready. So oh. the ginger cat is finished. So you'll have to see it next week because it's a finish. I'm bad girl. Two finishes though. That's pretty good for this week. There's a non-ginger cat behind us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yes. And my Among Us. I didn't see them. Um, I did 300 on my, my Among Us as well. So sorry about that. Okay. I was working on my mountain cabin which oh, yeah. I need to put a picture here because you won't remember what mountain cabin looks like. And there it is. That's where it currently is. Starting to fill in my diagonal now that I've got all the different threads. Mm -hmm. So there's 307 more stitches on that one than when you last saw it. Um, so that, with all that, brings me to 3,429 stitches since last weekend, which is not even quite a week. There's still tonight and tomorrow to go. But Jenny, I'm really proud of yours. That's awesome. Yeah, but I did less in a whole month than you do in a week. I don't know if I've added up my January stitches yet. But then <laughs> this week I had SES on Monday and I couldn't, I was planning to stitch while I did it, but they kept having stuff. We had to keep looking at the slides on the screen, so I couldn't. Then Wednesday I had my singing lesson. Thursday I babysat my nephews and I was hoping that I'd be able to baby to stitch and maybe even go on virtual or the stitch. Mm -hmm. But no, no, James age six wasn't given a bedtime. He was oh gosh. 
So um, you didn't go to bed. They, they were only going out for dinner, so it wasn't mm -hmm. going to be late. So, yeah, I did. Bummer. I, I got to play foosball and Mario Kart and um, Spirograph instead. Fun. And well, then scouts last night. So. Spirograph. Um, <laughs> there's my diary I've coloured in for January. So you can see different days, different stitches. A couple of numbers are very common. Yeah, so that, but I haven't actually added up my stitches for January yet, Jen, so I can't tell you how many I did. So you don't yeah. have to feel bad. But it's, it's, it's kind of a little bit like the people doing the temperature tree. Yes, well, that's that sort of is what it is. Yeah. And we've got one, I don't know if we've talked to you about it. There's one of those things available on Etsy that's actually like a library of bookshelf. Yes. And, and yeah, so we're going to do that some of us for next year. So hopefully you'll join me in that one. Well, I also saw that um, um, Jardin Privé, uh, so they had little houses last year. This year, she's doing little bobbins and you sew the colour on the bobbin of the temperature for the day, which is pretty cool too. That's pretty cool too. Um, okay, so that is um, my, my stitching. Um, I just realised I haven't brought my haul in with me either. I have my... I know, I'm just so disorganised today. Well, you, I you can do a little snippet, like, stick it on at the end of this. I will. It's it's the silks for you, um, oh, okay. colour of the month or whatever it is. Yep. What have you got for haul, Jen? So I picked up my Taran bags. These are handmade. So uh, I gave her the, the material. So I have this one. Mm -hmm. Nice. So I, I had the outside material and she chose the inside. Nice colour. That's good. I like that. And then I had found this. Oops, it's going to fall off there. I found this really cool Christmas material. And so it, it had this at both ends and then it goes graduated up. Mm -hmm. So she's done. Oh, nice. Again. Yep. And then the um, some more of the snowflakes. Oh, that's perfect. Inside. She probably does the best bags I've found in, in Australia. And she will also, it's, it's slightly more expensive, but if you have your own piece that you want put into a bag, she yep. can do that too. So this is one that I did yonks ago, so long ago that it, I, I didn't stitch my name onto it. And I decided that I'd leave it with my name not on it because um, I don't know where any of the threads are to try and get something to match. And, mm. Um, but the, the the actual piece was a birthday present from my aunt and uncle one year. I remember that much. And I know that when I first started it, I was starting somewhere in the middle and I used the wrong colour. To start. <laughs> I had to unpick it all and start again. Uh -huh. Anyway, it is now a beautiful bag. And this one, this is a bit, a bit different. It's got... Oh, oh little bricks. Paving, paving stone bricks in the inside. I like the, the, the brick effect on the outside. It looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah, and it sort of picks up a lot of the different mm. in here. So, yes, very happy oh. with all of those. Awesome. Bags. Yes, it's nice having pretty bags. And you might have noticed they've all got stuff in them already. Mm -hmm. I've, I've upgraded from some of my uh, mm -hmm. Daiso bags with just the different <laughs> colored tags on to um, proper bags. Awesome. So um, anything more? No, that's on my whole, apart cool. from Sassy Pouch, which we'll do in We'll a get to in a minute, yeah. Well, that's yeah. sort of why I didn't have my haul and everything, because the, the main purpose of us filming was to catch up and do the Sassy Pouch unboxing, so um, the rest of my stuff. And, and as I said, I had it all outside ready to go, and then here I am inside, <laughs> <laughs> not to worry. Um, so your plans for this month then, do you have anything in particular in mind? Yes, so... Um, I can't do a whole lot for no new starts because I don't have any of the patterns that are for either of the birthday stitch longs this month. Um, I So I've already done the violet part for Aquarius. Mm -hmm. I will be doing letter C and then letter D will also be at least started in February. Um, no, it'll be finished because letter E starts in February. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, okay, that's for that. Um, for semi-sane whip days, one of them is Library Lovers Day, and mm -hmm. I'm going to do some more of my Beatrix Potter. Mm -hmm. I figure that fits. 
And then I'm also going to double dip that with Aquarius because in the Beatrix Potter, it has Mrs. Tiggy Winkle and she's a washerwoman. So she therefore is a water bearer because she will be carrying water to do her washing. So I figured that fits. Yep. Um, I'm going to try doing the spring clean. Mm -hmm. spring clean. So um, for that one, you they've got a list of chores and then you set your own goal for each of those chores. Mm -hmm. Um, so I've said for paint the house, I'm going to do my family Quaker um, and do one of the big motifs. Um, wash the windows is going to be Little House Neighbourhood. I'm going to try 500 stitches on that. I figure because this is a shorter month and I'm not on holidays for it, most of it, um, I need to restrict a little bit. Yeah, be, re be realistic. Get to yeah. the same level. And scouts have started again and singing started again and everything. Um, one of the other things is a whip that's a chore. Hmm. So I'm going to try my other Carissa Wensler one and I'm not setting myself a stitching goal. I'm just going to say that I need to work on it for at least three days. Well, that's good. Okay. For that one. Um, clean out the kitchen. I'm going to do my bauble tablecloth and do one more bauble. Because I figure mm -hmm. you need a tablecloth on the kitchen table. Yep, yep. So that fits. Um, weed the garden. I'm doing my antique vines. Mm -hmm. Only saying 250 stitches for that one because it's on 20 counts, so it's a bit smaller. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do some more of the um, that purple ornament because I figure that can count for amethyst for yep. the Aquarius. Um, this one's a little bit of a stretch. The next one for the spring clean is clean the car. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do my reflections of Paris for that because I figured the Eiffel Tower is made of metal and cars are made of metal. And there's, but it's also, it's not just the Eiffel Tower. There's a range of different time uh, landmarks in Paris and you could use a car to go around and visit them all. Um, well, you can only try. Yes. And I think that's it. So, yes, so in my, the, so what I'm doing is um, I'm writing what challenges I'm planning on doing for that particular piece. And then at the bottom, I'm putting my stitch count for the days that cool. I do my stitching. Awesome. So that's how that's working for me. Excellent. Well, that's good plans. My plans are the same as always. Knock over as many things as I can. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm uh, trying to knock over the monthly prompts earlier this month because last month I got stuck at the end and I ran out of time because of the model stitch. I have been um, commissioned to do another design for something. So I have to get on to doing that. Um, but fortunately they have offered to model stitch it. So that's exciting because I don't have to. Um, so thank you very much. You know who you are. Um, and I, yeah, just keep trying to plod through all the, all the projects. So, okay. there, it is. there it is. There's that yawn. No, I, I did some earlier, you didn't notice. Um, it's late in the afternoon. I get very tired. I'm looking at my eyes going, oh, they're all red. Yeah. But I'm, I'm a bit weary too because mm. I've had it. I've had a big day today already. It has been, but you know, we have to film when we get a chance to do it. Yeah. Um, the kids are almost keeping out of my hair. Yeah. Zoe's asleep on my pillow, so she's um, yeah, she's um, she's happy. So, hey guys, I'm interrupting for the moment just to say that I needed to do the draw for the kitten prize. I meant to do it last week, so sorry. Anyway, the random number again was number two. What's with number twos? Um, so that means Virginia Miller, you are now the proud owner of this really cute little kitten kit. So if you can please send me a PM on Facebook or um, send an email to shadytreestitches at gmail.com and um, with your address and we'll get this out to you. All right, back to the normal video now. All right, well, we're, other reason we're here. So um, before we get on to the unboxing, um, I do want to say that a uh, little bit of Paddock Lane Designs news. So if you don't want to hear, shut your ears. Um, mm -hmm. But it's really exciting. As I said, I've got a commission design on the way again. Um, I've got one coming out in the Down the Rabbit Hole magazine it's, that's getting launched this week, I think, or next week. Um, my fabrics are on sale at JK Stitching and they are going really well. Mm -hmm. So I have to actually do more dyeing tomorrow. Janet's actually messaged me to say, I hope you're dying like mad because I need more fabric. So thank you, 
to people who are buying the fabrics. It is good, it is good value, it's good quality. And um, I am going to basically replace the colorways that have sold. And I'm doing, um, Ada's actually selling particularly well at Janet's. Mm. Hmm. So, um, but don't forget, I do have a lot of things available on my Facebook or my Etsy store as well. Um, so yeah. I have to say, I did have a look at Janet's new site and I went and I had a look at your fabrics and I was very pleased for you to see that there were quite a few that were already sold out. So yay. Yay. Yes. So I don't know how many I'm going to send down to her next, but I will be going and doing a delivery on probably Tuesday, I think, because I've got to get them dyed and I've got to get the fabric cut and sewn. And, you know, there's quite a lot of work that goes into it. So plus I want to have them all labelled and ready to go by the time they get down there. So yes, that's right. Next few days work. Bless you, Dudley. Okay, so now we are ready for the exciting sassy pouch unboxing. This is, um, I don't know, what's, what's the theme of this sassy pouch? Celebrations. So, oh, is this the birthday one? No, I, no, we did that. I think it was New Year kind of. Just to celebrate. Okay, well, we'll find, we'll see if we can work it out. Oh yeah, it's definitely celebrations. It's got, um. It's got party streamers in it. Oh. <laughs> All right. I have a look at my little card. Open the card first. Oh, yep. Okay. Found the card. Found the card. <gasps> yes. Definitely celebration. Look at that. Ooh. That's Ooh, very sparkly. Yeah. We always get different ones. I think they do it on purpose. I think you and I usually get one of everything or it's just random. Oh. Who knows? Oh, but ah. this time it's blank. No, it's not. But that might be because because I got an yes. extra one. Because I have yeah, uh, this is blank, so I can I can you can give, can give it to someone. someone. Yes. Well, do you want to open your other card while you're there? We can start okay. with that. So my other card is because I finally finished my map of Tasmania, so yep. I get a special little extra goodie in hundreds and thousands. <laughs> Ah, congratulations. <laughs> nice. Whoever makes these cards is very good at it. Juanita. Ah, Juanita. Well, thank you, Juanita. Enjoy your extra gift for completing your little piece of Tassie from Sassy Devils. Okay. I bet I know what it is. Well, from the squishiness of it, I'm thinking it's possibly the same as what you... But is it Ooh. exactly the same? Yes, but it's... It's that material. Oh, it's the material that our little um yes thread keep no nice thing. yes so yes nice little grime guard holder yes. fantastic that's a nice surprise yeah I'll have to find my map of Tassie pieces because I think I possibly almost have another set anyway mm -hmm. I don't know if you get to have another present but we'll find out all right and we also have Sorry. information again I missed yes. the information. Tasmania was created in 1803 as a penal settlement of the British Empire to prevent claims to the land by the first French Empire during the Napoleonic Wars. Around 75,000 convicts were sent to Van Diemen's land before transportation ceased in 1853. The uh, island was initially part of the colony of New South Wales, but became a separate self-governing colony under the name Van Diemen's Land, named after Anthony Van Diemen in 1825. In 1854, the present constitution of Tasmania was passed and the following year, the state received permission to change its name to Tasmania. In 1901, it became a state through the process of the Federation of Australia. There you go. Mm -hmm. Well, in answer to your question about can you get another map of Tassie thing, well, the fact that they sent me a new map Obviously you can. as well as in peace would suggest that, yes, you can do it more than once. Cool. Oh, well, my party popper dropped on the ground. Oh, good. All right. Now it's time for Christmas every two months. Number one. Number one. I'm guessing it's a spool. It's a skein of thread. Yes. Probably our special silks for you one that we get every Imagine. time. Yes. Speaking of that, the silks for you are doing a road trip around well, various places. So if you're wanting to have them come to you, <laughs> check out their Facebook page. That is awesome. Look at that. I love those colours. <laughs> yeah. I should go over there. So many nice colours. Yeah. Love that. Nice and bright. 
cool. It's sort of Christmas, but Australian summer, but yeah. Soft. soft. All right, number two. Two, little pink one, but it's quite heavy for something so small. I feel like a maybe a, a needle holder, like you know one of those tube ones. Oh yeah. I always like to try and guess, just for fun. Oh, so well wrapped again. These girls must spend hours wrapping. Oh. I can't get <laughs> mine unwrapped. <laughs> no. No, nothing to do with nails. Okay, well, I'm struggling because I have no nails <laughs> to get it to unwrap. You can show yours. I'll just keep. Post it flags. Oh, poster flags. Okay. Which you can use to, like, if you're using a paper pattern, to mark where your center is and stuff like that. And... Ah, okay. Yeah, and I, I think should probably use it also for the line because when you do a working copy of your pattern, sometimes the overlap bit from page to page doesn't show up quite so well. Yes. So, uh, yes. Okay, that okay. was two. number two. Um, number three is a big one. Which big one? Oh, uh, that big one. Yeah, yeah it's okay. I found it now. The orange one. Do, 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 do. It's a book of some description. Uh -huh, it is. <gasps> yes. I thought it might be this when we got post-it notes. Ooh. It's a journal. And it's got, oh, look, it's got, it's got like lines and dots. It's one of those dotty ones. Very mine, nice. Mine's grid. Yours is grids and mine is not. Maybe they're all different. But, but I think it's handmade because that, that's stuck on. They're stickers. Are they? They've wow. made before. Very nice. Thank you. That's pretty. That's a nice little journal. Cool. Uh, four. Four is purple. Long purple. Is purple. Nail file? You can say paddle pop stick, but yes. The nail well, file I'd be going for a nail pile over a paddle pop stick, but you know. Yeah. Anything's possible in this world. Yes, nail files are always useful because you don't want to have, particularly right. stitching with silk. Yes, but not just oh, not just a nail file. <laughs> it's a it's a stitchy nail file. Oh, mine's different. Look, stitchy nail files. We've got different ones. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, when you just get that little bit that catches all the time. Yep. So um, oh, the sticky tape so hard to get through. I need to grow my nails before next time so I can open them. Or All right, I'm gonna leave that to later because I'm shredding my fingers trying to open it. Number five is a yellow one. I don't seem to have a number five. Oh. Well that's a bit odd. Hmm. Oops. It's possible you don't have one. Hmm. All right. Well, in case you know what to look for. I'm guessing it's, it's, yeah. it's a chronic. I didn't get a chronic. Oh, they'll fix it up for you. Okay. And just check it may have landed on the floor sometime or something, but. Well, not that I can see. No. Well, they probably have one sitting there and going, whose was this one from? Yeah. And because I got the extra. Mm. Because I got an extra thing. If they were just counting number of things in. Yes. Then... Who knows? Anyway, girls, if you've got Jenny's chronic, you know where to find her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> number six is. This feels like it might be a needle tin. Well, this does feel like a needle tin. So. And it makes that kind of noise. It feels like, like that, but they're very good at being deceptive. Yes. Oh, look, it matches. <laughs> it's got the. Yeah. So yeah, it is a needle tin. How awesome. And it's yeah, with the magnet on the bottom. Oh, that's exciting. All right, number seven is a pen. Yep. <laughs> to write in your journal. Yes, a pen to write in your journal. 
Probably a sassy devil pen, I'm going to guess. It doesn't feel quite like, the, unless it's a, it might be a new design of sassy devil's pen. Oh. It doesn't feel quite like the old one. I could be well, wrong. Well, it's got a stylus nib on the top of it. Know, maybe it is. No, no, no. I, I, I take that back. But they're good pens. <laughs> yeah, the sticky tape is, is right, I know. Where, right where you need to open it. I'm going to have to bring scissors in to open these next time. <laughs> I usually do have scissors, but I forgot this time. They're all over there. Mm, mine are all over there too, in the cottage with the other hall and stuff. Yeah. Yes, it is a pen. I just can't get it. <laughs> we can tell it's a pen. I can tell it's a pen, but I can't get the sticky tape off. Oh. They're so well wrapped. Aha, finally. I got okay. it. Can you show yours? Because I can't get mine. Beautiful. A nice purple yeah. pen. Does it say Sassy Devils? Yes. It does. Wonderful. Number eight is a big thing. So this is the thing that I was joking to, to um, Natalie about looks like an I, I, iPad. I can tell that it's 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 a frame. You can see. Yes, you can tell now. I can see it. It is. It's a wonderful little frame to fully finish. That's Ooh. lovely. Very nice. I know it's that's 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 really pretty. You almost don't. Want you almost to... don't want to bother putting a stitching in it. Yeah, yeah. it's got such a. Okay. I mean, just put that up on the wall as it is. Yes. Gorgeous. Like right there for now. Makes me wonder if someone actually designed that because it's really pretty. It is. And look, the best part for my kids for bubble wrap. <laughs> All right, number nine, little red one. I don't know. I don't know either. And a little bag. Oh, it's a um. Ah. It's a little that, um. That little zipper pull. Zipper pulley thing. thing. Mine's Very cute. Yep, we're different, but same idea. Yep. Yep. Oh, we might be the same. No, I, th I think we are. Yeah, I think we're the same. Lovely. Very pretty. Number 10 is the pattern. Pattern's very well wrapped. I wonder what the pattern is. Because I don't know. I don't oh, think it's a pattern. It's not a pattern. It's not a pattern. It's fabric. Yes, okay. but it, it's not our, our extra fabric. No. Well, that's bizarre. Okay. It's a piece of Ada. Yeah. There you can see you can just see it's glittery yeah glittery opalescent i'm just doing white ada so i've got 16 count opalescent yeah, yeah. lovely and it well with an opalescent ribbon on that one i i, I like that little touch that but they as, as you said they they are very well wrapped yes beautiful wrapping It's a Swarovski crystal charm. What? Huh? The the zipper pull thing. Yeah. I think. No? Maybe not. No. We've got one more to open. Yeah. This might be. Oh, yeah, that was a zipple. Zipple, yeah. This will be a Swarovski crystal. No? Yes? Yes. Oh, it's a little heart. Oh, okay. If you can see in that, tiny, yeah, in a tiny little box. Tiny little box. Is yours blue, or is that just the light? On I think it? that's just the light on it. Yeah, it, it's clear crystal. Yeah, How that, cute. That, that doesn't really show very well on the on camera, unfortunately. Oh, well, there you go. Well, they don't have they don't have a pattern this month. That's no. that's and, fine. And I, no I, needle minder. No, no needle minder either. We got different things we, this time. We got a zipper pull instead of an needle. Yeah, minder. they're switching it up. I like it. And, and now and I, fabric. I didn't get um, a party popper, but I did get some popping candy. I got popping candy and a party popper. Yeah. Your, your one's really missing out, Jen. Ah, well. There's a party popper for one of my kids to pop. <laughs> I'll eat the popping candy. Um, what size fabric did you get? Big um, one. I, I go the, the um, hang on. 32 count even weave fat quarter. 
Okay, so I'll open the fat eighth for the moment. Okay. If I go variety. Oh, look at this. That's so cute. <laughs> so I have got 28 count even weave fat eighth. Oh, go away. Sorry, my mother was ringing me. <laughs> and it takes off my screen. Are you ready? Uh huh. Look at that. That's very cute. Sassy confetti. Sassy confetti dyed by Fancy Fabrics, which is an Australian dyer who run one of the organizers of the Sassy Pouch, but she's decided she loves dyeing fabric so much that she's taken up doing it too. So mm -hmm. she's done a wonderful job. Oh my goodness, she will have had so much fun flicking that dye on it. Oh, so no. yeah, confetti. <laughs> well, there you go. That's awesome. Well, thanks girls. And that's the Sassy Pouch. And thanks, Jen, for joining me. I better go and see my mother's rung twice now. So I better go and see what she's ringing for. Okay. Um, everyone have a great week stitching. And I will look forward to catching you next week. And Jen will catch you next time. Bye. Bye.